today we're uh, driving a 427 twin turbo hot rod series in a factory five. Uh, it's a really bitchin' deal. We've only got five pounds of boost running through it, five, six pounds, but it's just super fast. We're not really being abusive to it because I'm more worried about the transaxle uh, not being strong enough for it. So we're taking it easy, so don't call me a when you see the video. But uh still interesting, it's nice. This car's got over 20 inches of manifold vacuum. Gives you it shows you how tame the cam is. I'm taking my time, I put it in second gear. I'm stepping on it at a very low RPM. There is like zero turbo lag to this combination. And at five pounds of boost, I don't know that you would ever need any more in this car. It's just like a full blown rocket ship. And you can see I'm driving this like a grandma right now, but it's just like, bam, it's pretty bitching. So there's a lot of things that still need to get worked out. The tune-up's pretty poor. Uh, but it's going to a photo shoot, so we just wanted to get some video of it before it left. So, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so this is a view of our 427 twin turbo hot rod series. We've done some kind of cool things here is where we've put twin water to air intercoolers on the motor and mounted the blow offs to the intercoolers. The intercoolers plumb into heat exchangers, which we've got fans on behind here. It's kind of hard to see. We've got our patented mirror image turbos underneath with our billet turbo transitions and billet collectors and they're tucked really low for nice center of gravity so it handles good. Everything's been hard-lined and as you can see from the video at basically the lowest horsepower level this thing is just bananas. Oh yeah! 427 beefness. These motors are really turning out to be one of the favorite of the bunch. I mean, they make immense power. Um, you know, this is this particular engine is capable of over 1,600 horsepower, which really is going to be unusable in a car like this. So it's just set at the lowest setting right now, just just because uh, without traction management or some sort of gear-based boost control or mile-based boost control, it's just not going to it's not going to do anything but be dangerous. So. We've set it low and locked it for him until he get used to the power. So what we're looking at right here is one of our 427 twin turbo LS motors outfitted in a factory 5 GTM. It all fits in that little package there. So intakes reversed 180. We've got our mirror image turbos piped into twin water to air intercoolers. Kind of a neat setup, something a little different than normal. 1,013 foot-pounds, 1,140 horse, and climbing fast at only 16 pounds of boost. A lot, lot more left in this one.